Magadi, a beauty spot in southern Kenya. It's also home to a Maasai community of around 4,000, whose livelihoods are being threatened by the impact of climate change. Herding cattle has been the main source of food and income for them for decades. But droughts, now more frequent, are killing off cows and affecting the environment. Samuel Kikoso lives the traditional Maasai life in the village of Endope in Magadi. He had seen major changes here. A long time ago, life was much better. There was enough water and grass for the cows. But now, the weather is unpredictable and the cows are dying because of the drought. There is not enough food and water. So when it is dry weather, we don't eat the cows, which was our main source of food. We eat ugali, our traditional maize meal, instead. Access to water is a major problem, too. Lakes have dried up over the years, leaving communities in search of supplies. But help is on the way, says Akim Steiner of the United Nations Environment Program, UNEP. We are trying to address how we can use the ecological infrastructure of the country to provide water storage and a better management of the hydrological cycle. Until that happens, Samuel struggles to feed his ten children and two wives every day. He's lost more than 300 cows over the past few years due to a lack of water and food. It's not easy for his family. Samuel's wife Susan says even though she used to walk six hours to fetch water before, supplies were guaranteed. Now water is hard to find and they sometimes go without it for days. There used to be plenty of water here. We had a deep well nearby too, but not anymore. I have to walk long distances to get water. There isn't enough rain. When it rains, you only see small puddles. There used to be a lot of long thick grass here before. Now, there's hardly anything growing here. Even if it rains, nothing really grows here. The grass that does grow here is becoming sparse. Unless help comes to address the scarcity of water, Samuel says that the situation could get worse. If you look into the future, I don't think there will be any cows left in this area because of the dry season. It's much too long and the cows won't survive. This report was prepared by Salma Zulfigar from Irin News for the United Nations.